truck that we questioned on whether or not the engine was actually rebuilt, right? It is, and you can see why I questioned it. I mean, first off, look at that chassis. I mean, I wouldn't put one in a chassis that dirty anyways, and the engine looked the same way. So this is the Dodge that we had the video on that was having problems, no code, everything was checking out. It just would not start. It would run off ether, but it wouldn't start. So after calling the customer back and forth, he was kind of lost. He wasn't sure. He was certain he bought a rebuilt kit and the guy that built it supposedly used all the parts, but he didn't know much other than that. He just kind of trusted this guy to do the job right and get it done for him. So we ended up pulling the engine out, got it down. And what we had found in this is the tone wheel that shows TDC on number one or tells the ECM where it is so it knows when to fire the injectors. It had the wrong one in it. So you get an old truck like this over the years, people will use different parts off of other engines they have laying around because it saves them money. And a lot of times they'll use the cover or valve cover or wh whatever, wherever the engine serial number is, they'll get put on the engine and not actually be the right engine serial number. So this was still reading. It was close enough. The tone wheel was close enough that it wasn't throwing a code and it was showing RPM and reading. I mean, it was, it looked normal. So we'll walk over here and I'll show you the difference. So I've just grabbed a cam out of our scrap metal, just for an example. This one here, it's machined in there. So the tone wheel picks up off the back of the cam gear and this will show the ECM top dead center by the number of holes, the offsets, the distance, the gaps between. So that's one way. And then this one's mounted on it. And this shows TDC. It's got a spot where there's no holes. And what it does is it reads that, right? Every time that comes around, the computer sees that spot where the magnet doesn't read for a second. And that will show number one TDC. And it will keep the engine in time. It'll know where it's at. So when you get the wrong tone wheel in there, you're throwing that whole system off where this thing would still run off ether because it was running off of starting fluid. It didn't need the injectors. It would run, but it wouldn't run off of fuel because the fuel was being injected at the wrong time and it was just all out of whack. So this one was, this was fun to find, but we, we found it, but that I'm hoping I can help somebody out there. Always make sure on these older trucks, engine serial numbers, just because it's on there doesn't mean that engine serial numbers for that engine. I would hope that somebody would make sure that they tagged that. If they did that, we always stamp in the new number, make sure that it's recorded because wow, when you change the engine serial number or change the engine out on a truck, you're causing a, it's going to be a trouble. I mean, that's going to be a pain in the ass for somebody, another shop to figure out. So just keep in mind that's can happen and it happens. We get it here once in a while. So that's the case on this one. You know what? We haven't lost one yet. If it's on our time, it's on our time. We're going to figure it out. So you need some help. Give us a call. Utah Diesel Center, 801-796-9353.